So I got my little star washer there. I think it's one size too big, but it's the best I got around here. It's got a pretty heavy bend in that thing. Look at that. Instead of bending the float and breaking the float, let's take it out and a little bit of a bend. I don't think those are supposed to be flat either. I think they're supposed to have a little bit of a dog leg in them. Maybe like that. What's well, just the level of it? The bend? Yeah. Well, the needle seat dictates the height, and then the bend dictates where it's going to sit. Where it's going to stop. The dog leg raises the float up, the overall float height up. Okay. And then the in and out is controlled by the slot right there, which I'm controlling right now. So we're going to it like that and see what happens. And it's going to compress up inside that foam, and if you're lucky, you won't destroy it. I think about the right spot. Okay, so you drop it in there. Get the fork over here where you can see it. You know, we're looking. In the light, you can't see anything. So you see the little tang sticking out of yeah. there? So I like to go ahead and stick the needle up in there. Go through the top, too, if you need to. Yeah. Okay, it just popped on. Yeah, I think. I'm going to screw that up in there. If it's on there, I can see it. Nice and loose. Yeah, not binding, that's a good thing. Yeah. I'm going to put our pivot piece in there. Yep. Put the pivot pin in there. There it is. Do our initial fitting. And see what we got to play with. That looks pretty good. So that dog leg is moves it way up high. So we probably could do without the dog leg completely, but that's perfect, huh? I like having dog legs. That, I like floats silly up high. You gotta make sure it doesn't hit anything. So you gotta bend it over. Because you got clearance, so you go side to side. Yeah. So you make sure it doesn't hit on anything. Alright, so go ahead and tighten this up. Well, that looks good. So you got a small twist in it, but. Much as I dare. Let me see a little bit high here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push it down a little bit. And you can push right behind the float on here a little bit. Mm -hmm. That allows me to put pressure here. Drops it down a little bit. Yeah, you want to make sure gravity does it too. Yep. See, we're pretty high through here. Yeah. That's that dog leg I got in there. Yeah. So I think we're a little bit high on our dog leg. So then we take it back apart. Take some of the dog leg out of there. Pushing right here, not back here. Yeah, so you don't break it. You take the float off of you. A lot of leverage, so. There you go. Got to bend in it there. Yeah, but now I gotta get the dog leg out. I like how this piece is loose. Usually they're not loose. Yeah, it's loose. Yeah. How do you tighten it up? Beat on it with a hammer, just like everything else. Or solder it. So now we got access to get our dog leg out. Clear on there a little 
do it. Not sure what angle we need to be though. It's got a little bit of a twist in it too, I think. Hard to tell. Too big of a hammer. Should we use a punch? Oh. Help. Okay, let's see how they're made. They kind of come through like this. Oh, okay. Side. And on this side. Tighten them up. I'm not sure where we're going to be right now, so I need to put it all back together and check it and probably take it back apart again. We've got time to do it three or four times, right? Yeah. Can't be in a hurry doing all this stuff. You gotta fine tune every little piece. A little high now, see? Yep. That might leak. Just a little. A little bit, huh? Where are having that one guy that was doing your filming for you? The big guy had a big ape hangers on his bike, windshield and all that. about this week. There you go. Yeah, it's a little high still up in here, but a little better. Make sure it doesn't rub. It's got a little bit of a twist in it. Take my finger underneath it to support it. Yep. So it's got a little bit of a twist to it. And twist out now. So it's mm -hmm. equal on this side and right there. Yeah. You see how it works back and forth with a little pressure. Yeah. Not binding. See the pivot up in here the way we curved it. Yeah. It's not working correctly. Should I get this tight yet? No. Okay, that will affect it a little bit. See, I raised the float up. Yeah, actually. you sure did. Raised up almost perfect, huh? Uh, uh, I don't know. For your bike, maybe not. I'm lower a little bit. If it floods a little bit, then you know where to go. You just need to lower the float. I'm just going to kind of lower it down a little bit. It's supposed to be about a quarter inch down, which is about where we're at right now. But it being this high up, it might might gurgle a little bit of fuel out of it. So. But that's where I like them being is up there. You see we're pretty even all the way around. Yeah. Okay, last thing, make sure you put pressure on it. Make sure it doesn't rub. Yeah. So we're good. All right. 